So we have an array of ints, it's just a normal struct which has data, size, capacity, and we have this pushback macro which will push a value and increment the size. So what is the problem here? Well, let's I guess compile a program, right? Uh, we're pushbacking three here and we're printing the first elements because our zeroth element because we have not pushed any elements right so if we do this uh, it's gonna print three right but if we do 3.5 uh, it actually shows an, a warning here uh, but if we compile it it's it's fine right but it's gonna print three because uh, we're not gonna use the uh, uh, the float we're just gonna use the int part but you have an array of ints so you should store ints right unless you explicitly want to convert the float to the int so uh, we can actually fix that by using some C11 features I think it, they are both C11 maybe maybe not but there is a thing called um, I guess I'll start with static assert first right so just like an assert it's gonna evaluate an expression that uh, it is true but instead of crashing the program if the assertion is false it's not gonna compile if it is false well if the expression can be evaluated at compile time in the first place so like 1 equals 2 or like yeah you can't check the value of a variable or something like that if we do something like 1 equals 2 which is false static assertion fails right if we try to compile it's it generates an error and if we do one equals one is is true we can use that with another feature uh, called the uh, generic and what generic does is it's like a switch statement but instead of evaluating an integer it will evaluate the type of a variable and then you can make branches for each type of variables so for example we have or I guess we can pass uh, 2.5 and then we have an int and then int let's say I guess I'll, for example I'll do a puts right is int and default if it's not int it will puts it will print uh, is not int so if we do this it is not int because well it's a float or a double so we can combine generic with static assert we can check the value we are passing to the pushback macro to check if it has the same type as the array so if it's an int array it's gonna only accept ints if not the code is not gonna even compile so we can make a macro here so is same t is going to check if x and y is the same and so it will take the type of x here and oh there's type of which is uh an extension this is not standard but it's a GNU extension so let's say ij or <laughs> we can take the type of i here and so the x will be int so uh, this macro will do the same thing right but if they are the same type it's gonna take the or it's gonna evaluate to one if not well uh, it's gonna take the other path and it's gonna be zero and so uh, what we can do is use that in a static assert is same t 
uh, value comma we'll take the uh, data right so this static assert will check if uh, we are passing an int to an int array if not the code will not compile as we can see we are trying to pass a float to an int which doesn't work it's not gonna compile it's a compile time error because in our uh, static assert is this is same t macro and this is same t macro evaluates to false because type of y is not equal to x right so here type of y is like an uh, an int but i guess if we still want to pass 3.5 or to the array we can still you know convert it explicitly and it's a compile time error right so it's not gonna even have uh, overhead unlike an assert or something because at runtime the static assert will not exist because <laughs> if the static assert fails you can't even compile the kind of annoying thing is that a static assert is not an expression it's a it's a statement so you can't do something like this you need a semicolon because it's a statement so you can't use a static assert if you want to have a macro that will evaluate to an expression if you want to return a value if you're using GNU uh, you can do this uh, so I think it's like this or static assert is it like that or like this I forgot but you can do something like this and uh, you know you, you can do your macro you can even do like a for loop if else